I bring you all the very warm felicitations of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari on this occasion of the interdenominational service to mark the 62nd independence anniversary of our Republic. Let me also congratulate His Eminence, Dr. Daniel C. Oko, the new president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, and all the new members of the executive of the Christian Association of Nigeria. I pray that your tenure will bring blessings, light, and encouragement to our nation in Jesus' name. In a few days, we will celebrate the 62nd birthday of Nigeria. But Nigeria is not a natural person. It is made up of people. It is made up of men and women and children who are Nigerians. So when we say that we celebrate the birthday of Nigeria, we are in fact celebrating the birthdays of the Nigerian people, wherever they may be in this great and vast nation. So every prayer and every blessing that we pronounce today on Nigeria, we also pronounce on every Nigeria and all of our friends. So this evening, I will pray for Nigeria and the Nigerian people. My favorite prayer for people on their birthdays is found in Deuteronomy 33, verse 25. The second half of Deuteronomy 33, verse 25. As your days, so shall your strength be. As your days, so shall your strength be. What does this prayer mean? As your days, so shall your strength be. It means that the older you become, the stronger you will be in various ways. The older you become, the stronger you will be. Your strength will increase as you grow older. So the first way in which your strength will increase is that you will become physically stronger and healthier as you grow older in Jesus name the Bible says in Deuteronomy 34 verse 7 Deuteronomy 34 verse 7 he says that Moses was 120 years old when he died and his eyes were not dim nor his natural vigor diminished for the average person as we grow older we become slower and less fruitful and even barren but the word of God to Nigeria today is that it shall not be so with you. Even as you grow in age, you will be more fruitful. You will not be weaker with age. And for every Nigerian, you will be more fruitful as you grow in age. And you will be stronger day by day in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Psalm 92 verse 13 to 14. Psalm 92 verse 13 to 14. He says, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit even in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. And that shall be so for you and all who you hold dear in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Another implication of the blessing that as your days so shall your strength be is that every day God's promises will be renewed in your life. Every day, God's promises will be renewed in your life. God said to Abraham in Genesis 12, verse 2 to 3, Genesis 12, verse 2 to 3, he said, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Let me repeat those same blessings for Nigeria and for you who are here and for every Nigeria. Because God added in that promise that in Abraham, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. So you will be a great nation and God will bless you. And anyone who blesses you will be blessed. And those who curse you will be cursed. 
and through you, this nation and the world will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yet another implication of the blessing, as your days, so shall your strength be, is that every day, every month, every year, you will be greater, you will be better, you will be happier, you will be more prosperous, more joyful than the previous one. And concerning this nation, the word of God says in Haggai 2 verse 9, Haggai 2 verse 9, it says, The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace. In this nation, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. The future of Nigeria will be far more glorious, more peaceful than her past. And so it shall be for you too. Every year, you will be happier. Every year will be more glorious, more prosperous, and more peaceful in Jesus' name. As your days, so shall your strength be. Another implication of that blessing is that your strength physically, mentally, and spiritually, and even financially, will be sufficient and adequate for every new season, every new situation, and every new challenge. You will have more than you need for every new season in your life. In Jesus' name. Brethren, we stand at the gates of a new nation. And we see its lights shining bright. The nation of God's promises. A nation of opportunities, of equity and justice. A secure and prosperous nation. A nation of laws and righteousness. Even if what we see today seems bleak and dark, we are confident that God who owns the heaven and the earth will fulfill his promises concerning this nation. And indeed he says in Joshua 21 verse 45, Joshua 21 verse 45, he says, not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. And we pronounce concerning this nation that not a word will fail regarding any good thing which the Lord has spoken to Nigeria. All will come to pass in Jesus' name. Finally, to every citizen of this nation and every family that is represented here, we declare that in the name of Jesus, your best days are yet to come. Every promise that God has made to you will come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Happy 62nd anniversary.